Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing Purdy's Chocolate. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe for all new videos. And remember to click the notifications bell. Purdy's is a Canadian crafted business and has gifts for every occasion. In this video, I purchased three items. It was around Easter. As you can see, this one container is very gorgeous with a wreath of Easter eggs and a very beautiful tin, providing assorted chocolates inside. Milk, dark and white chocolate, nuts and other ingredients. Next is a beautiful paper container of an Easter egg filled with assorted chocolates as well, wrapped around with a bow for extra detail. Their packaging is very beautiful, great for gift giving or even just for yourself. Next, I purchased the peanut butter fingers. I have never tried any of these items before, so we're going to be cutting them open and reviewing each of the chocolates inside, taking a peek on what's inside. So inside of this bag is 12 peanut butter fingers, each individually wrapped. Each bar is 100 calories. All the information and facts are written on the back of the package. So let's go ahead and tear it open. And here are all the bars. I like how they're individually packed. Great for on the go or just grab a quick snack. Okay, so let's get started and cut it open. So as you can see, it's not a very big bar. It's like having a mini chocolate bar filled with flavor and richness. All their information is on the back of the package, including the website. As you can see, this chocolate bar is milk chocolate, giving a thick chocolate wave over top. Feels like a very solid bar. Cutting it open, you can hear the thickness of the sound. With these peanut butter fingers, they're very rich and soft to chew, and I found them very addictive. I've had time to sample each and every chocolate from Purdy's, from each of these containers that I had purchased. If you love peanut butter, I highly recommend to get these. I would definitely order these again. You can shop online for these 24-7 at purdies.com. They are also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Next, let's open up this tin and see what kind of chocolates are inside. They have wrapped it in elastic band so the lid does not come off. Having tins like this is a great idea. Storing your Easter cookies, Easter cards, or anything that you would like to store in it after you're done eating the chocolates. Here's what the inside of the tin looks like. Inside is the informational chart of each of the chocolates provided in this can plus all the other chocolates that they do make. Now unfortunately, in this can, we don't have a lot of the berry flavors. So Purdy, if you're listening, I would love to try some of the chocolates that are not in these cans. They have so many different chocolates that I would love to try. So as we run through each of the chocolates, I will name them off and let you know my opinion of how they tasted. So in this tin, they have a nice variety of different chocolates and different flavors. 
from your milk chocolate to your dark chocolate and a little bit of white, along with some caramel. Each of them are uniquely made with different patterns and colors, with their shapes and design. So the first chocolate we'll be looking at is an orange cream. You can get this chocolate either in a milk chocolate or a dark chocolate. As you can hear, it's a very thick coat of dark chocolate and has a sticky inside of orange flavor. This one I found to be very sweet, but very delicious. Lots of orange flavor with a bit of bitterness from the dark chocolate. Next we have the raspberry cream. This one's covered with a dark chocolate with a raspberry chocolate drizzle over top, filled with a thick raspberry cream. If you love raspberry, you will enjoy this one as well. Here we have the Caramel Carnival, topped with walnuts, white chocolate, and milk chocolate. Kind of with a nutty, creamy center. Here's the Cardinal Cherry Chocolate. It is a dark chocolate. Filled with a cherry cream and a cherry inside, leaving it very sweet when you bite into it. This little heart is passion fruit flavored. Milk chocolate shell with an orange drizzle on top. I found this one a little strong. Here is the white silk. Covered with white chocolate, gives it a simple look. And cuts smoothly down, revealing the white chocolate inside. A very delicious, tasting chocolate. This one is called Almond Burst, topped with almonds on top, covered with milk chocolate. Their signature stamp is on the bottom. It's very soft to eat with a little bit of crunch. Here we have the goat cheese cardinet. It has like a goldy glimmer stripes on top with green and brown and white stripes. I actually really enjoy this one with a creamy cheese like center. Here we have the good old hedgehog. He's a cute little hedgehog. It's a soft milk chocolate that the knife glides right through. Here we have the petite chocolate with golden swirls. It's a dark chocolate with a soft center. This one is a salted hazelnut flake with a milk chocolate coating. I found the inside crunchy and somewhat salty. Also seemed to have like a caramel crunch to it. I didn't mind this one. This one is dark chocolate and it's called Himalayan Pink Salt Caramel. 
The caramel inside is a little thicker, so it's a bit chewy. And you definitely get a kick of the salt. This one's fancy. It's a raspberry balsamic. Dark chocolate outside with a nice red pattern on top. As delicate as it looks, it definitely does have flavor. This one I found quite strong before you even taste it. Oof. You can smell it. Here we have the vanilla caramel, a very thick caramel center. This one really wasn't my favorite. I personally don't really like caramel that much. And this one is a pecan caramel bar filled with pecans and covered with milk chocolate. It's a quite thick bar. This one I did not taste because I'm not a caramel fan. If you love caramel, you may enjoy that one. Here we have a almond cluster covered in dark chocolate. It's a very nutty chocolate. Here's the butterscotch fudgy. It's a light chocolate with a dark chocolate drizzle, soft center inside. This one was pretty good. Here we have the peanut butter daisy. This one is similar to the peanut butter fingers that we chopped open earlier. And again, I really enjoyed it. Here we have a dark chocolate coffee crunch Mayan. A very hard shell with a softer, nutty center. I think this one is called Yuzu. It's Y-U-Z-U. It's dark chocolate with white chocolate drizzle. A very hard chocolate. It has like a jam type substance in it. This one was not my favorite. If you're into one of those more stronger chocolates, this one would be for you. So now that we cut into each of these chocolates in this tin container, you know what to see inside. These chocolates that we just viewed. So now let's go ahead and open up this container. Again, they have the handy little plastic strap to keep the lid on. The packaging is very cute and very Easter-ish. It would make a great gift box for Easter or just something to store stuff in. Here we have the same information as in the last package. So as you can see, it has majority of the same chocolates that was in the tin container. Just more with doubles, so if you're sharing with a partner or friend, you each can have your own chocolate. I hope you enjoyed this video with revealing, cutting open each of these chocolates to see what was inside and my thoughts on them. Purdy Chocolates is a great chocolate company to buy some special chocolates for somebody or yourself on certain occasions or any day that you feel like having high quality chocolate. Their chocolates can be pricey, but they're still really good. Many of these chocolates I'd like to try someday. So Purdy, if you're listening, send them my way. I'm very interested in trying some of the fruity berry chocolates and the different ones listed in this booklet. These would also be interesting to try. All right guys, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe to my channel for all new videos and to see what's new. Thanks for watching.